Hello Pisces. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Lightworker Wit and I am a professional tarot reader and psychic medium and I'm so excited to have this reading with you. So we are going to get into a mid-month check-in for the month of March 2004, okay? And what that's going to entail is we're going to cover how things are going so far for this month, what's going well, what's not going well, where to focus your energy, where to stop focusing your energy, and any lasting messages from spirit. Now, we do have a full moon lunar eclipse on March 25th in Libra. So I'm going to pull a card from my Queen of the Moon Oracle. I'm going to go ahead and pull that now so we have a little bonus card to look forward to at the end of your reading. Ooh, and we already have it. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside so we can really ground your reading, okay, as far as what that message is. And I will be reading the message from the guidebook, okay? All right. Now, please remember this is a collective reading, so receive what resonates and reject what doesn't, okay? And if you would like a personalized reading... All of my links are below so you can schedule that one on one time with me, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, how are things going, Pisces? While I shuffle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> wow, it's already so much red in your reading. Well, thank you for sharing. Hopefully we can provide some clarity in your reading. I kind of love for just visually, I'm working with the Tarot of Oneness, Pisces. Um, this is actually a pocket deck. It's like for my purse, but I just wanted to work with it today because the imagery is so beautiful. Looking at your cards already, I'm going to just move them down so you can actually kind of see the colors. So vibrant, so pretty. I love the energy of your cards already. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Now, how things are going, we have the six of wands reversed, okay? So you're kind of feeling like you don't want to be in the spotlight right now. You don't want to be seen. Maybe on the flip side, maybe you're feeling like you're not getting enough recognition or attention that you deserve. This is the card upright. And sometimes the six of wands can represent you going through a personal victory, a personal achievement that you're celebrating privately. So take that however it resonates for you. Um, let's get a clarification. I'm just not, I'm not even really going to shuffle too deeply on this one. Can you clarify that six of wands spirit? Hangman, you're feeling like it's really recognition. You're not really feeling like people are seeing you. You're just feeling like you're out here and you're like, hello, does anybody see how freaking awesome I am? Does anybody see the amazingness? Um, that's really what's going on here. Okay. Now, what's going well? The lover's reversed. Okay, interesting. Now, what's interesting about this deck is that she actually puts two cards of the lover. She has a feminine and a masculine. Here we have the fem... Is it the feminine? Yeah. The feminine lover's reversed. So, I would say you're focusing on yourself right now. You're getting up back in alignment with you, who you are, who your spirit is, who you are in your spirit. And even though people are not seeing you right now the way you want to be seen, you're making sure that you see yourself. Does that make sense? Eight of Wands. And you're, and you're really looking for a rapid change. You're making, I, I don't want to say you're making changes, but you are, you're working at this with a, at a gazelle pace. Does, does a gazelle move fast? Child, I need to watch the animal channel. <laughs> You're moving about this quickly and that's not a bad thing. I kind of just feel like you're rapidly kind of like diving into self-love, self-care and, and that's really good, especially in your birthday month as we close Pisces season. Now, what's not going well, we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. I'm going to show it to you up right. 
have it reversed. There's some reason why you're unable to get into alignment is what I'm seeing. Because the queen of pentacles, when she she's trying to get things done, but she becomes a little overworked and she's not in her best energy. Nine of pentacles and five of pentacles. I just kind of feel like there's money, but there's not enough of it. And that's causing an issue. Luxury. Okay, independence. But then also five of pentacles. So I feel like there's a almost resentment towards having to be responsible right now. Is what I sense. There's, there's money, but you kind of can't spend it on what you want to spend it on. Because you have to be responsible and take care of these other things, these other people. So there's a conflict there. Okay, so it's very financial. Hmm. Where to focus your energy? Spirit of Cups. This is Queen of Cups energy. This is your energy. There's a real, like these last two weeks, Pisces, you need to be focusing on yourself. If there's nothing that you get out of this message, you need to be focusing on yourself. Spirit of Cups is literally the Queen of Cups. That is your energy, Spirit um, Pisces. I'm just looking at the imagery here. Being able to see the unseen, the depths of your spirit, the depths of your soul, and in others, being compassionate. That's where you need to focus your energy. Uh, again, again, not focus on yourself, but, but being kind, being loving, being compassionate. And intuitive. Queen of Pentacles, excuse me, Queen of Cups is very intuitive. So don't really focus on the material right now. Just focus on your intuition. Focus on how, you, how you're feeling. Okay? Way to stop focusing your energy. Page of Pentacles. Now, I, I, this is interesting because I do remember this being in your reading. Because I just watched it with my mom the other day. I do remember this being in your reading. This page of Pentacles um, for March. So go back and watch it if you haven't. So let's actually draw a clarification card on that. Where to stop focusing your energy. Okay. Wheel of Fortune and Ace of Swords. There's a new idea coming in. I also feel like some sort of success as well. With the Wheel of Fortune, there is a success that's coming through that, that you've been working towards with this Page of Pentacles. So it's here as in you can stop focusing your energy on it because you kind of achieve the next level. So now you've got new ideas to kind of look forward to. Does that make sense? This could also be I, similarly to Capricorn. Capricorn kind of had this too. If this is... Um, uh, earth sign in your life, uh, who are they? Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. They would have, a, you know, maybe they are experiencing some sort of success so you don't have to worry about them. Okay. That would typically be somebody younger than you. Somebody, or somebody, it doesn't have to be an earth sign. Maybe somebody who's been hard at work at something. Okay. So you don't have to focus so much of your time and energy there. Because they're achieving some sort of level of success. So again, Capricorn had that message too. So very interesting. What you need to know from spirit. Just, just find your peace, Pisces. These next two weeks, find your peace. Find your happiness. Don't worry about nothing else but you, yourself, and you. Okay? I only want you to do things that feel good for the rest of this month. That's all I want you to do. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and look at this uh, card. I already saw it, so I'm going to let you see it. And I actually think what's funny is, and I'm, I know this because I just watched this with my mom the other day. She's Pisces. This is the same card that you had for the new moon. So I love that it's coming up here again. So if you haven't watched that reading, I'm going to read it again for you. No big deal. Okay, growth. 
Reject stagnancy to get unstuck. Take action. The choice to grow should be made. Expect growing pains when making huge changes in your life. Change is a natural part of life and cannot be pushed against forever. Change should have aim and purpose. Be courageous. You will blossom. The affirmation is, I choose growth. Think of a willow tree. Willows often grow on the sandy banks of highly shiftable and changeable rivers. Yet they reach huge sizes, successfully growing and holding fast in an unpredictable habitat. How do they do this? When you see a young willow on the banks for a long while, it just looks like a feeble stick. It may have a few branches and leaves, but at first the trunk will be fine and flexible rather than robust. What we don't see immediately is the root base. The willow spends a lot of time establishing a veritable root city under the surface. These roots are long and strong and very numerous finding their way into many nooks and crannies, holding onto rocks, other established tree roots, and anything that can help with their stability. These roots go off in all directions, thus securing their position in just, just in case the earth begins to shift. Then, and only then, once these root networks are established well enough, does the willow put its energy into further growing. The tree trunk begins to thicken and widen and harden and travel upwards to the sky. However, as they grow, the branches have little of the trunk's supportive thickness. They have instead the instruction that they must be flexible. Flexible means they can turn with the sun and survive punishing winds that might threaten to topple the rest of the tree. All of this growth is done with purpose and a divine strategy. The waxing lunar cycle calls for growth but not growth without aim or purpose. When we understand our current position, accept it, and decide to change, we will naturally grow as people. We might experience some growing pains after all. Transformation of any kind is rarely completely easy and trouble-free. Having a strong intention of what the results of our growth will be helps with gaining the courage and resilience to move forward with our growth and in the eventual blossoming of our true self. Love that. Love that for you, Pisces. Yeah, there's a lot of self-work that needs to happen these next two weeks. That's really what I got out of your reading. Plant your roots so that you can be stronger, more resilient. One thing I do want is I do want another card on this page of pentacles and we're to stop focusing your energy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> all right. Oh, I was too many. I didn't want all that. Can you just clarify this... Uh, I'm going to use this deck. Can you clarify where to stop focusing? I knew child was going to come out. Yeah, it's it's not you, Pisces. It's If you've got children, it's uh, somebody younger or a nephew or niece. Or, um, I literally knew child was going to come out. That's why I used that deck. It's not you. So you can stop worrying about somebody younger than you because they're going to be taken care of these next two weeks. Okay, only you know who that is, Pisces. So trust your intuition on that. All right, I love this reading for you. Thank you for hanging out with me, Pisces. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I will be producing more content on this channel. Of course, if you want a one-on-one -on -one reading, all of my links are below, plus extras. And subscribe for daily content because I do post daily shorts, little messages here and there. And then I will be recording your April forecast in just a few days, so stay tuned for that. All right, Pisces, thank you so much. I will see you on the next one.